Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Uh, once again, I want to welcome everyone. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. I welcome everyone in the name of Jesus. This is Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry based on spiritual warfare. Uh, as every Friday, 7 o'clock, we have deliverance. And today we are going to have deliverance of, who knows the title, we have the deliverance. Can you put that? Today we have the, the, the topic is the water, prophetic anointing, water of fire. I am going to speak prophetically word into that water and the water. This water is, is a miracle, it's a mysterious miracle. It heals, it delivers. You can take it to the patient, to the sick person, and they, once they drink, they get healed. It's a mysterious water. After prophetic, after the word that I will put in that water, it will be like that. And, let, and let's look in the scripture. The scripture from the book of uh, Genesis 1, verse 1 to 2. Genesis 1, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, the creation of the world. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and a void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Waters. The Spirit of the Lord moved upon the faces of the waters. Now, you see, when there was nothing in the world, but there was water. That's why human being is 85% water. Human being is, is, is 85% water. So the water, if a human being does not have water, that is a, a, a disaster. That's why when you sick, you are getting sick immediately. When you are admitted to the hospital, what they want to do is to add you more water and more water to fight the virus, to fight the sickness in your body. That's why water is very important. Now the enemy knows that because water is very important, he, he, he has taken that water to be his. Let's look in the book of another scripture from the book of Psalms 104, 5 to 6. Psalms 104, 4, 5 to 6. The Bible says, Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be moved forever? They, thou cover it with the deep. You see, the deep as with garment. The waters stood above the mountains. So, God, the same God who created the heart and they laid the foundation that cannot be moved and they covered the deep. The water stood, stood before the mountains. Yeah, I was given a vision about this water in the mountain. I saw a vision, the water that, you know, the, the mountain, the rock, you, it is amazing how that water comes. When the water was coming from that, that, that rocks, and then the Lord was showing me the scripture and was telling me that's how, how, how he started breathing, his breath, just his breath, he said, and then water started coming from the, from the rock. That's, that's amazing. And this water is medication. Water heals, water charges, water is everything in the life. Without water, this water cannot be, be there. Because the Bible says, in the beginning, before anything. That's why you must know that water is very important. I heard the lady was say, the TV was saying, drink a lot of water because something is happening in the atmosphere. The water is sucking people. Even you can die. Some people, they die. Because they lucky water. So when you drink water, you make your life, you make the blood sacred. So the, the Bible says in verse 6, Thou covered with the deep as with the garment, the waters stood above the mountains. Let's look in the book of the next, the next 
Psalms 23 verse, verse 9. Psalms 23 verse 9. The Bible says, The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunder the Lord is upon many waters. You know, the, the voice of the Lord is upon waters. So the waters, the voice of the Lord is upon waters. That's why you talk to waters. That's why the enemy witchcraft, they use waters and do evil and speak to the water. That's why they use water. Now they have taken the water, the marine spirit, water spirit. People want to get wealthy, they use water. They have taken everything, the water, because there is power in the water. You see, the voice of the Lord is upon waters. The God of glory thunder the water. The thunder, the Lord is, uh, is upon many waters. Now, the Lord himself thunder from the water. He said the thunder, thunder from the water. When the thunder of God comes from the water, that's why we have a uh, sea quick. The sea quick can come and then it will terrify the people. When God sent the thunder to the witchcraft coven, when we pray, we ask God to send the thunder. We ask God to, to thunder the witchcraft come. That's what is happening because the very water you are drinking, as we are, you, you see, this is what you want to see. The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The God, the, the God of glory, thunder the thunder. The Lord is upon many waters. So, these waters, you see, the voice of the Lord is upon the water. That's why I'm going to speak to the, this water, because already the voice of God is in the water. Yes. So, what we command the water is what it will, do, it will be happen. Yes. You understand? The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. It's inside the waters. That's why even the doctor, they, they use the water. Everything, the, the, the water is very important, because the water speaks. The water churches, the water healings, yeah? So if we put the thunder in the water, that's what is, what is going to happen. If you drink this water, anything that it has been planted in your body, in your life, when you sleep by witchcraft, anything you have eaten, it, this water is going to flush it out. It is a healing medication. You will be surprised. So the, the water, because the, the voice of God is himself is, is in the water. Remember, God, God, God says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and God with the word. Now, when you look at it, from the beginning, Genesis, when God created, what he created is water, because that is his voice. And he said, it's the spirit of the Lord moved upon the water. Let's look in the book of Kings, Kings, 2 Kings 5, verse 10 to 12. The Bible says, Elisha sent a message to him, saying, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be returned and cleansed. Now, this man called Naaman, he was having terrible sickness, terrible diseases. Once you have this sickness, you are counted as unclean. You've been, you are isolated, you are put somewhere. But because he was a captain, he was a, a, a king, he was a leader, they did not put him as isolated, they didn't separate him. So he was a, a captain, he was a leader. Now, a, a, a maid, I think a housemaid, a slave woman, who was working for, for him, he looked at him and he said, I think I know somebody who can help you. I know a prophet can help you. Go and uh, and see him, he can help you. Now this, 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 this man called Naman, can we start from verse five? Verse five, let's, let's look at the second, second Kings, the whole of Kings, that's, that's when you can hear the story properly. Can somebody read for me? I, I didn't take it all. Let's start from, 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 from chapter one, so that you can understand what I'm talking. Second Kings chapter five, Verse 1 to 12. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. If you have your Bible, please, can you help us to read? Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria, and he was also a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. 
He was what? A mighty man? In power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he was a leper. He was a captain. <laughs> he, was a, he was a big man. But he has a, a, a crippled diseases, terrible diseases. Uh -huh. Go on. And the Syrians had gone out by company and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel mm -hmm. a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. Mm -hmm. And she said unto her mistress, would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Mm -hmm. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to go, and I will send the letter unto the king of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. Mm -hmm. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Nathan, my servant, to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his letter. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, Am I God? No, okay, okay, now, when, this, when he read the letter, what did he do? <laughs> yeah? Did it! What did the king did? <laughs> and, 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 uh, and he rent his clothes and said, Am I God? Yes. To kill and to make a lie mm -hmm. that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. Yes. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, <laughs> that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Mm -hmm. Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Co continue. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. Yes. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. Yes. And thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. You know, it, 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 here it, it is very clear. This man, he was uh, having very bad sickness. Even Naaman, even, even, the, even the king, the, the prophet himself, he didn't want to see him. But he had the word. Now, he sent the word, he said, go and wash yourself in the river Jordan seven times. Now what happened? But Naaman became angry and went away and said to himself, Surely, being a, 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 being a captain or being a, 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 a president or a, somebody big like this, an officer, this man does not really recognize me who I am. Yeah? <laughs> he was very hungry. He was very, 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 very hungry. Now, surely he could have come out and stood and called on the name of the Lord, his God, and waved his hand over the in that area and take away the, the neighbors. And 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 and, and Abina. What is that name? I can't see. Uh -huh. And the Abina and Abana rivers of Dam Damascus better than all the waters of Israel. So could I could I not wash in, in them and be clean? So he, he turned and went away in a, in a rage. See, you see now, he started talking by himself. He said, does it mean there's no leavers in Israel? That why did I waste the time to come all the way to this man and the man as a discretion? He was very, he was very angry. Yeah? 
But it was just a simple word, go obey. Go to water, so, which means water is power. All the witchcraft of Israel, of, 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 of Samaria, when they witch this, this man, so the, the, the medicine was water. <laughs> The only medicine that will clear that man is water. No doctor, no physician, no family doctor can heal rivers. It is only water. That's why you must know that water is very important. Now, he told, he told, he told him, go and give yourself. That is it. I don't need to see you. Just obey and go. There's no point to talk to you. Now, what happened? Verse 14. Uh, verse 13. But his servant approached and spoke and speak to him, My father, if the prophet has told you to do some great thing, could you not have done it? How much more would he say to you, Wash and he be clean? So, so he went down and dipped himself in the children seven times, according to the word of the man of God, and his flesh returned like the flesh of a little boy, and it was clean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the, the, the lady, that woman who was with him, he's the one who saved him. He said, the prophet, because they respect the prophet so much, when the prophet has said something, they believe that is what it is. And you know, the, the last days, the Bible says, God is going to raise up a lot of prophets. Many will be prophets, many will pro prophesy, many will see visions, many will read them, will, will, will dream dreams. So now our time, we have so many prophets that even the devil has made so many prophets. That's why people they don't respect any prophet now because whenever they say they say this, this is another one. This is another prophet because the, the respect of the prophet now is no more. People they don't even recognize a prophet. But those days a prophet was really respected, and when it, when they see a prophet in a city, everybody would stand still and say, "What? What is this? What is happening?" Yeah. They don't want to see the because when they see a prophet, they know something is not right. So they were respecting. Now, after the, after Naaman obeyed what the woman told her, told him, and they went and they clean and he become clean. What cleans him is water. Any bad luck, any, any any anything that is programmed in your life, as you will drink this water, this water is going to destroy and clean you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This water is a medication. It's an antibiotic. It is, it is a healing. It is one to heal you. Yes. It is a healing. Remember, the voice of the water is in the in the voice of God is in the water. So this water, it is a healing water. And the one you see this mysterious miracle, doctors of Canada, doctors of America, doctors all over the world, they tried to find out what they could do but they were not able to help to help this man it's only water just water the person went to the river and he became clean clear the bible says he became like a little boy where's a little boy <laughs> little boy this is the boy you are a boy are you a boy or you are a girl okay come come stand up stand up Look at the little boy. This is a boy. <laughs> now, an old man who was like uh, 50 years, as his skin turned to be like this, the skin of a boy. Yes? That's what you want. I want to show you that water has power. Water is so powerful. When the prophetic water has been put in the water, that water becomes antibiotic water. It becomes something else. Yes? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Verse 14, it says, So he went down and dipped himself in, in, seven, in, 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 the, in, the, in the Jordan seven times, as the man of God has told him. You see, seven times? Seven. Why is it seven? Why is it seven? Because seven is a fulfillment. You can't pass. When seven is a number of, of God, a fulfillment. That's why I said, go and dip yourself. He went and dip once, look at himself, say, 
No, no, no. Second, then he starts seeing something. Then the third, then the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, he deep himself deep. He wasn't because already he has seen something. So he deep himself to the bottom of the, the, the water. And when he came out, he found, oh, yeah, yeah. is this me? Is this me? <laughs> he was so happy. He was so excited. He saw that he was, how excited you are. You are. Those wounds, do you, have you seen people with the livers see how they look like? Now let's play like this. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Cross out the portion, the Ramantine in my life in the name of Jesus. Cross out the portion of the in my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Cross out the portion of Ramantine in my life in the name of Jesus. Cross out the portion of Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn from the top of my head to the sole of my feet and thrust out every marine spirit deposited in my body in the name of Jesus. Burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet and thrust out every marine spirit deposited in my body in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer very aggressive and serious. Just pray. Ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet and flush out every marine spirit deposited in my body in the name of Jesus. Burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet and flush out every marine spirit deposited in my body in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet and flush out every marine spirit deposited Witchcraft, any marine witchcraft, chain binding my head, my hands and feet, chain binding my hands and feet from prospering, from prospering, be broken and shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus, be broken and shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. We need to stand up and pray. The prayer. Yes. We are praying. Yes, you are praying very aggressive prayers. You know the voice. Is in the water. So you have to pray. This is what happening. This is water spirit. This is marine spirit. You see, this is marine spirit. This is witchcraft. Yes. That's what is attacking people from prospering. Your life has become very difficult. You can't have money. Why? You are in this opportunity, the country where the, the honey and milk is. Yes. This country is full of opportunity. Even Canada can donate four billion to a country. And you are here, you are broke, you have no money. <laughs> the yeah. devil is a liar. Yeah. Yeah? You are a Canadian and you are starving, you are struggling. Yeah. Don't you see something? It's not right? Yeah. That's why you need this prayer to deliver you. If, you. if you are struggling with money, business, and jobs, you, you are always broke. This is your prayer that you need to pray very aggressive, yeah. very hard prayer. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Yes. Pray like this. Every arrow shoot unto my life from under any water. Every arrow shot in my life from under any water. By witchcraft powers. By witchcraft powers. Come out of me and go back to your center in the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot on my life. Every arrow shot on my life. From under any water. By witchcraft powers, come out of me and go back to the center in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you the truth, the witchcraft, they don't like this prayer. Because it is going back. If there is anybody practice, those people are coming from island, from under the water. Those witches, they are the they are in serious problem right now because you are sending them back to the service. Yes, yes, yes. They have taken your money, they have taken your children, they have taken your marriage, they have taken everything. Now we send every problem they have put in you back to the center in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let the careful search of the enemy. That's first number five. Three. Okay, number three. Every great mark of war, the spirit. Every trade of water spirits. How 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I want you to concentrate on these prayers. Concentrate, concentrate on these prayers. Hallelujah. Every trademark of water spirits. Be shaken out of my life in the name of Jesus. Be shaken out of my life in the name of Jesus. Be shaken out. Be shaken out. Be shaken out.
You can pray. It's very serious. You need the Holy Ghost fire to burn from the top of your head to the sole of your soul and the first out all marine spirit deposited in your body in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Holy Ghost fire. Okay. Holy Ghost fire. Holy from the top of my head Jesus. I am praying any materials yes. taken from you, yes. from your body, and placed on any witchcraft altar. I command them to be roasted by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. That is how it is. If there is any materials, anything that has been taken from your body, spiritually, physically, and they are placed in the altar of the witchcraft, I command them to be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. We are going to read from the book of Psalm 78, verse 15 to 16. The Bible says, He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them abundant drink. Can somebody read for me? Read that scripture, please. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them abundant drink like the ocean depths. He brought forth streams also from the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. Yes. He split the, 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 the rock in the wilderness and gave them abundance, water, drink like the, like the ocean departs. And they brought forth streams also from the rock and caused the waters to run down like a liver. Therefore, I pray that God Almighty yes. is going to strike the water in your body that it will yes. run forever, that it will never, never try again in Jesus' name. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is going to cause the water to run like a liver in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. My God, we thank you. Abundance of drink is going to fall upon you in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus told the woman, if, if you know what is talk, who is talking to you, he will give you the water and you will never be touched again. The water from the rock, that you will, you will never be, like all, you will never be touched again. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Go and the woman said those scriptures. Any materials, any materials taken from you and your body, placed on any altar, yes, I have to move. No, sorry. Uh, uh, first Corinthians 10. First Corinthians 10, verse 4. The Bible says, And drink the same spirit, spiritual drink, for the drink from the spiritual love that they accompanied them. And that love was Christ. Uh -huh. Yes, that is what it is. Yes. That love was Christ. And they drink and they drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied them, and that rock was Christ Himself. Yes. Do you know that? Look at your Bible. You may be surprised and see. I check it. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The rock you will the water that you will drink from the rock is Jesus Himself. You will never be touched again. As I want to pray for the this water, this water is going to be something else. I'm telling you. Let's pray. You will check it at home. Just have these scriptures. We are going to do some twenty fire prayer before I pray for the water. Any water spirit from my village? Any water spirit from my village? All the press of press of, of of my birth. All the press of my birth. Practicing witchcraft against me and my family. Practicing witchcraft against me and my family. Be amputated by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Be amputated by the word of God in the name of Jesus. 
name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Father God. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, I follow this prayer with the precious blood, God. Let the fire of God consume every demon, every person of the demon, every insect of the demon, all the demons that is attacking my Lord. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. Fire of God consume every person of consume every demon, consume every Jezebel, consume every witchcraft. By the power of the Lord Jesus, we see fire on the God. Your feet and your face. 
That is it. Then don't let that water to finish. Just hard on top. When it is almost to finish, you have it is medication. If you are sick, you eat bad food. You are you feel like you went to somewhere, and then you found you have been followed. Drink that water. If you have terrible dreams, that water will finish it. That water is going to be antibiotic water. It is going to be medication water. It is going to be crushing demon water. It is going to, 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 to be a, to, the, to, the, to the camp of the enemy, and the enemy will be disgraced in Jesus' name. Let me pray for the water. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, your word, in the beginning, God, you created heaven and earth, and you said, you are, you are, you are, you are, and, in, and, and in, in the beginning, God, you created the earth and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the heaven. And you said, God, let it be the light, and the light was there. My Father, my God, because God, you are a light, as I come before you, as God and my Father and my Savior. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and God yourself, you are the Word. Because you are the Word, my Father, I want to put this word into your in this water. Yes. In this water, God, as I pray, the, I put the word. Your word, because your word says your voice is in the water. Therefore, now I put your word because you, you yourself you are the word. Let your word enter in this water. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the thunder, because the water, you thunder from the water. Let the thunder, your thunder enter in this water. My Father and my God. I pray that let the thunder enter in this water. Let the fire of God, let the light fire enter in this water. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, you change water to become wine. Become wine and they were sweeter than the wine which was there before. You change water. Because you are a changer, you are a changer. I am asking you now to change this water, to become antibiotic water, to become your blood, Jesus Christ, to become medication to become antibiotic medication father in the name of jesus now change this water change this water god you are a god of changes change this water as you change the water in the in the book of john 2 then during the wedding you change the water to become wine god the same water you change now change it Yes. Father God, I am now asking the angels, yes. the angels that troubled the word of Bethesda in yes. John 5. And everybody with the sickness, diseases, when they dip themselves in the water, they were healed. Therefore, my God and my Father, the same angel dispatched into yes. this water yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the same angel to dispatch upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of God drop this water now. Yes. Angels! Drop this water. Angels of God, drop this water in the name of Jesus. Drop this water, my Father and my God. When this water enters into your body, it will heal the endless sickness in your body. When this water enters into your body, it will destroy everything that has been blooded by the demon, every satanic dream. While you are, you are sleeping, they feed you food, they feed you meat, they feed you this water, when it gets in contact with the body, it will flush out in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, when this water gets in contact with the demon, the demon will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The demons will bow down and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. When this water gets in contact with the witchcraft, spells and chants, they will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that you will eat, you will drink against your body, against your, 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 your life, when you drink this water, it will furnish it in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, satisfy this water in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood, let your blood, Jesus, now drop in this water. Let your blood, Jesus, drop in, the, in this water, my Father. My Father and my God, I want to thank you, Father. I pray that you satisfy this water with your precious blood. Let the power that created the heaven and the earth enter in this water. Let the Holy Ghost fire enter in this water, my Father. Satisfy this water with your precious blood. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, drink this water. <laughs>